Jaguar XF Sport breaks by testing ahead of 2017 launch. Voss's confirmed new Jaguar XF Sport brake will arrive in 2017, and now we've caught the practical load lugger testing. Despite rumors that an internal SUV boom would see the death of Jaguar's XF Sport brake estate, pictures are starting to surface of the new model testing. The images come after sales operations director Andy Goss confirmed the Sport Brake's existence at this year's Paris Motor Show. The new Jaguar XF Sport Brake takes its styling cues from the sleek saloon model, which first appeared at the end of 2015. It's been a long wait for the more practical estate version, but our pictures show it undergoing extensive testing at the Nürburgring race track in Germany. Best Estate Cars on the Market from the front it's instantly recognizable as Jag's big load lugger, but at the rear we can clearly see the high roofline and more versatile load bay. It's our first proper look at the back of the car, too, which although heavily camouflaged, appears to use similar tail lights to the saloon. Jaguar design director Ian Callum put the record straight about the new XF Sport brake in an exclusive interview with Auto Express, earlier this year. I was misquoted saying we'd never build another wagon, Callum told us. I was asked if we'd ever build an XE wagon and we won't. When asked about an XF estate, he added, that would be a very pretty car. Jaguar sales boss Andy Goss reiterated this when he addressed the media at this year's Paris Motor Show, there are going to be more additions to the Jaguar family in 2017 and I can confirm that one of these will be the new XF Sport Brake he said. Boot space is set to be slightly up on the saloons, at around 600 liters, while with the rear seats folded, space will be larger than before 1,700 liters is feasible. The usual floor rail fixing system and powered tailgate are expected, too. Engines and trims will mirror those in the saloon range, with entry-level 161 bhp and 178 bhp 2.0 liter diesels in Prestige, R-Sport, and Portfolio specs. There will also be an S-Car with 297 bhp, a 375 bhp V6 petrol and an Extreme SVR model to rival the Mercedes AMG and Audi R's estates. The new car could debut at the Frankfurt Motor Show in September 2017, before likely going on sale later next year. To visualize the car, we mocked up how the new model might look. Our exclusive images show the XF without disguise, sporting the same sleek front end as the new XF, with its more upright grille. The swept back headlamps with Jag's J-Blade LED light signature also feature. The rear profile won't be too different to the outgoing models, adopting a more coupe-like shape than a traditional estate. We expect the back window to be shallower as it is on the F-Pace SUV with the distinctive twin half-hoop LED lights from the saloon. Callum told us, I'm a wagon fan. And there's a sense of obligation that once you've started a range, you need to continue for your customers and hope to grow with it. The design director went on to confirm that there was interest in the XF Sport brake from the traditionally estate-averse Chinese market. I've spoken to a number of Chinese about wagons, he said. There's a general feeling that as the market changes and families grow, the need for a more practical car than a sedan becomes more necessary.